Yo guys, what is up? This is Austin Primetime. I'm bringing you another video in Minecraft Feed the Beast Unleashed. So, last episode we did some things with Miscraft and everything, and I said that I, uh, probably wouldn't, or maybe I didn't, but I'm pretty sure I talked about how, uh, I was gonna be not doing Miscraft on camera that much anymore, because I've shown you the basics, and until I can do more things, uh, than just make a random book and show it to you guys, there's, it's gonna get boring. But before I get on to this episode, I do want to show you one book that I did make. So, I'm pretty sure I put a, a linking book already down in there, but yeah, I had to because I got back. Alright, let's go. Alright, and what I just noticed is that that looks like that got reset. I had to update my pack, so let's turn that back to recipe mode. Alright, so this looks pretty normal, but let's actually go look at something. Look at that, guys. This is a world that was island generated, as in, like, there's only an island and that's it. But then there's also uh, natural spawning things. So look at all this. We have a, a nether fortress, we have a mine shaft, and there's all the chests in it and everything. Uh, uh, I just thought it was really cool. I'd never seen that happen. And it looked really awesome. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. Uh, so, let's continue. So, yeah, I had just never really seen one of these, and it looked really cool. It looks like, you know, there's still blaze spawners. That's right. Ooh, ooh. Got a little bit of lag. Let's take that though. What is that? Oh, that's a library. So I guess this would probably be a really good place to go looking for to go looking for libraries. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this, this, and this. Let's see, is it under here? Nope, it's under here. Awesome. Give me one second, guys. Alright, guys, I'm back. Um, so we just got that stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and head back. Here we go. And... Done. Alright, so now let me show you what all I uh, have gotten through going through some of these. So let's open up this. Oop, so we got spheres, no weather. I'll just go through it. I've already seen it. Oop. There we go. We got a lot of things, a couple of doubles, but it's whatever. There's still plenty of books out there to go get, so let's not get too happy about it. Alright, so now let me show you some changes I've made around here. So the first thing is right up over here. I have made a laser area. Ooh, come on. And uh, I originally did this for facades. As you can see, I have a couple of facades. And I accidentally made a lot of plugs because I thought that was what was needed to make facades. Turns out that isn't. So uh, that was a little awkward. But now we have a bunch of facades. Let's go ahead and shove these into our system. Uh, this is 14... Uh, lasers and then it's all powered from behind it and there's one other thing that I made which I'm really proud of because it took me a long time oh that's another thing I expanded this a lot we have 20 pages now yeah it's awesome uh, anyway so let me show you guys our thomcraft area looks kinda tiny but let's actually go in so as you walk in boom huge hollowed out area for thomcraft Pretty cool. I enjoy it, but as you can see, everything's still vanilla right now, so we need to uh, unvanilla that. So first thing we need to do, make one of these. Uh, second thing we need to do is we need to make a wand. So I forgot how to make a wand. Awkward. Uh, we need the base wand, which is this wand. Is there no way to make it? Uh oh.
Uh oh. I know you need that wand in order to uh, start. Uh, shard. I hope that it's still the same pattern. Stick, shard, and then a, I need a piece of gold. Because I need a gold nugget. I really hope it's the same. If it's not, then I'm screwed because I don't remember how to make it. Yeah, that, why is that not? Huh. Oh, well, we have a wand now. So, actually, nah, I'm good. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Oh. Still charging up. I guess I don't have that big of a node around here. I don't know what the node sizes are around here. But while that's charging, let's go ahead and uh, charge up the rest of my stuff. Um... That's fully charged. This, that, that always gets uncharged instantly. Alright. Uh, yep. Uh, we got the wand. We got all that fun stuff. Oh, we also need to grab paper, but we can do that while we're there. So, one thing that I haven't gotten to do ever, which I'm really excited about, is I get to do the research, except I have the AE system over here, which is going to make it so much easier like I am so excited because I used to have to run and then I'd have like danger zone chests everywhere and I did not make an infinite water source so let's go ahead and grab why do I spell bucket wrong every time let's go ahead and craft me up another one or not does it really take that long to craft up a bucket like Yes, it really does. All right. Is that enough? Uh, I should I think that's enough. Uh, let's go fill these up with water, which my nearest thing from the water source is a little ways away. It's over here. All right, there we go. Two water buckets. Alright, where can I make this? Let's just go ahead and put it right down here. And then we just pop that down and that down. There we go, we have infinite water. Let's watch it boil, hopefully. Please start boiling. Yep. Alright. So, I'm going to show you me researching a couple things, um, put that on thorough, uh, just in case you haven't seen it, but most people have, so I'm not going to research everything on camera, because it does get pretty boring, I even don't like it half the time, let's go ahead and pack me up some of that, uh, it does get extremely boring, so we put paper here, and now we start doing things, so the first thing that you want to start off with is pretty much a shard, like that's just how you start. Ooh, we have a lot of water shards. Let's start with that. So we just put that in here, and we got something. Of course, it started out with magic. So we have the enchanted fabric. Ooh, I completely just forgot something. Let me get out a book. Shell. Great, we have our magic book. The Thalmanomanomicon. I didn't know that we could make that. Oh, that one's really cool. We're definitely going to be using that. Alright, what a bottle of rainwater. Uh, studying the air aspect. Alright, so we need... Uh, need to make a couple bottles just in case it ever starts raining. Alright, good, we have some. Alright, so if we ever catch it while it's raining outside, which I'm pretty sure I have an infinite rain world, so that shouldn't be too hard. So we have enchanted fabric, so we're probably going to need like some paper sort things going on, maybe. Nope, uh, leather. Really, 
if you haven't messed around with this mod, I really suggest you do, but it's really just a guess and check. You don't know what anything is unless you look it up, which is kind of boring. Yeah, we need a claw. Um, so you just have to guess about what it could be. So the last thing that we need is create or construct, which I'm pretty sure can be found. Avian iron? Uh, maybe not iron, maybe iron sword. You have two iron. Why aren't you crafting? Are you really going to wait to the end? Like, Alright, what else would have it? Uh, maybe these iron bars. I'm trying to think. It's looking for create, so maybe a crafting table? No, that doesn't have it. Uh, let's pull out a crafting table. There we go. Let's see if this... Oh, gosh darn it. That's, that takes way too long to break. Holy crap. Yep, there we go. Okay, so it wasn't enough, so we need to make at least one more. Does that really take time? Like, I need to add... Ooh, okay. Gosh darn it, will you just go in? Really? Oh my gosh. Crafting... I have 20 of them, so this should work. There we go. Now we have our very first thing, which is an enchanted fabric. So let's go ahead and put the crafting tables back. And you have created a simple but strong fabric from wool and spider silk. You are sure you can infuse it with magic somehow to create a wonderful crafting component. Right click, and we have it. So now if we go here, look that if you put string around wool, you can get enchanted fabric. We don't have any uses for it yet, but that will come in due time. So the next thing I want to do is I want to grab some coal and I want to throw this in there. Uh, this is niter, which is a light source. So we're going to need some lux, which is from glowstone or torches. Uh, do I not have any dust? Do I, am I out of glowstone dust? Uh oh. How is it crafting glowstone? Ooh, got a lot of lag from that. Ooh. Yo, yeah, how is it crafting glowstone? It, it does not have a pattern. Alright guys, I'll be back once I go get some glowstone from the nether. Uh, yep. Alright guys, I am back, and I did get glowstone, um, a pretty good amount of it, but I also got, it's raining right now, you can't tell because I'm in the desert and I'm underground, but it is raining, uh, so I did collect 64, an entire stack of rainwater bottles, so that's good, so let's actually make some glowstone now. Let's go ahead and make 20. And let's go ahead and throw this in there. There we go. Now we have niter. Niter is really cool. Uh, let's go ahead and we're actually going to make some niter right now. So let's look at what we need to make it. Ooh, what is that? I want to learn how to make that. Anyway, we need four ignis, six lux, and four potentia. So let's look at how much lux each thing has. That is ten, so I don't really want to use that. What about glowstone dust? That is three. So how much... Six. So if I put in two of those and I think two coal, yep, so if I put in two of each of these, I should be able to make one niter. So to do this, all you have to do is get it once it's boiling, stop, and chunk it right in. And then we should be able to right click and bam, we have one niter. So the first thing I want to do with this niter is grab a bucket. And I'm really not too happy about having lava underneath here. So let's go ahead and fix that. Grab my bucket, pick that up, throw this bucket back in. And now with the use of niter, which looks really cool, we can go ahead and where is a bucket? 
can go ahead and keep this full. And we should be able to watch it start boiling. Please. Does that not work anymore? Okay, no, there it is. So, now this is what I really want to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty. 4, 35, 36. So we have 40. Okay. We have 40. That will make 20 each. Let's grab some glowstone. Ooh, my glowstone is about to be done. So how much does a torch have? Let's look at that. Because torches are a lot easier to make. As one lux, that would take a lot. Uh, let's just use glowstone for now. All right, so this is enough to make 80, but I don't want to make it all at one time because I don't have that good of a wand. So what we're going to do is we are going to separate it into groups like this, and even Let's just break it up into groups of 20. Just to be safe. Actually, no, I don't think that's an exact... No, it should give me exactly 10. I didn't get anything. Why? What the heck just happened? Why did I not get anything? Let's try that again. I'm about to get mad. Coal. Glowstone. Where's my glowstone at? Alright. Glowstone. Alright. So now... Oh, come on. There we go. So that was 10. I don't know why I'm the first one, so I'm going to need to pull out 20 more. Let's go ahead and refill this up. Where's my bucket at? Alright, now we can go ahead and drop this in there. Uh, let's go out here a little bit. Um, and the reason that, it, like, I could have just made it just a little bit in like that. Uh, the reason that I put so it's so deep is that I'm hoping that it affects a different node. I'm afraid that I have a node, like, really near here. And whenever you do stuff like make... Uh, craft things, not really research them, but there's a lot of things down the road that you'll see. Whenever you do things like that, you create badness. Pretty much like you create some bad mojo. And if you do it away from where you do every other thing, then you won't be affected as much as you do it right next to where you, your house is. Alright, so now we just need 20 of each thing. So, coal. And glowstone. Kind of sucks that it wasted 20 glowstone of mine. Alright. Is that full yet? Yeah. Oh, I forgot to fill it up with water. Let's wait for that to boil, then I should have 40. And we will make this a comp Oh no, it's 42! Wait, why did, why did that happen? Alright, so now I need to grab four more of each. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and fill this up. And then let's break each one of these. I don't know how laggy this stuff is. Hopefully it's not too laggy. 
I'm really hoping it. No, can I still? Yeah, I can. Right. Right. Uh, it should be boiled. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Getting really, really. Okay, okay. Why am I missing one? I put down one, two. Oh, okay. I forgot to put down that one. And that one. Wait, something's wrong. I'm pretty sure I just lost one somehow. Oh, I didn't put down this one. Gosh darn it, every time that I, like, move too fast with my uh, modular power suit on, it, uh, messes up. Like, whenever I drop too fast. Alright, there we go. Once again, get a little bit of lag. Alright, let's drop this in, this in. Get two more. That way we can break this out. Alright, let's continue replacing all of this stuff. Come on, there we go. There we go. Alright, why do I have an odd number? What did I forget? I'm pretty sure I just lose some every once in a while, like that just happens. Do I get it back if I break it? Yeah, I do, so... Okay, okay, came back. How about past these? Yes, I can, that's perfect. This is gonna look awesome, I'm so glad I did this. And there's one more thing I wanna research after this, if I can get it on the first try. I'm just gonna research one more thing before I close. Ooh, ooh. Come on. All right, guys. There it is. That is my new Thawncraft thing. That definitely looks really cool now. I'm really, really happy with it. Do I have some night vision on? I think I do. Let me turn that off so I can get a. Oop! It's not mess with the coloring pattern. Alright, so that's off, on, off. So that's really off, and as soon as my night vision fades, I will be good. So I am missing, like, four torches. Which are probably scattered around everywhere. Never to be found again. Missing one. Found it. Alright. Put that back in there. Why do I have an extra nighter? Something must have done broke. Oh, yep, right there. Alright, there we go. Definitely, definitely cool. So let's go ahead and... I want to get coal out again, I believe. For this final thing. Of course I do. And Fractus, which comes from Cobblestone. I don't think I have enough cobblestone. I might use it all up. And done. We have aluminum. This stuff is awesome. Substance slots is fiery, fiery energy and is and it is more than eager to release that energy at the slightest bump. It may be unstable, but it would probably make a good source of fuel. Oof. Now let's go ahead and make us some of that. We have Alimentum. Three practice, six fire, so it's going to take three pieces of coal, and however many cobblestone that is. So let's go coal. Let's go ahead and just make up. Let's make 30 of it. And then cobble, I don't know how much practice a piece of cobble has. Alright, so I'm going to need 30. There we go. Let's grab a bucket of water. 
And let's start throwing this stuff in. And oop. Okay, three. That's not exactly how much I wanted. That's awkward. I wanted ten more uh ten times that. That's not good. Alright, anyway, let's talk about what this does. One, you can use it. 16k EU, so you can use that as a fire source, which is pretty cool, but it's not what I want it for. What I want it for is this right here. Let's go over to these slimes. Let me show you something. You can right click and... Oops, I missed. It does damage. Not that much damage, but it's fun to look at, and I like it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it um, with, when it comes to elemental. So, guys, I had a lot of fun... Uh, Doing the oh see there we go already we already have some wisps we already have some bad floods that's not good all right let's see if I can take these guys down the good news is though is that flux actually makes it to where um like the more that wisp that spawn the less flux there is so as more wisps spawn the flux goes down which is a good thing so we will have to take care of some wisps periodically but um but I mean we should be just fine. Sooner or later, I'll be able to uh, look at where the node's at and conceal it to where they spawn within the bubble, and we can set up something to kill them instantly. But until next time, guys, uh, please remember to leave a like, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. This has been Awesome with Colin Pad, signing